Did I catch you at a bad time? Christine Hill with Sunshine Prosthetics, American Board Certified Orthotist Prosthetist in North Carolina area. Today we are on the road caring for folks, so I invite you in on that journey with me. Before we jump into that though, because I'm all about that integrated life, here is a quick montage of our last weekend. We just finished up with our concealed carry class and hope you did awesome. And now we are at, where's this place called? Hickory. Hickory Mark giant four-tiered building that contains various retailers and craft makers. Back to the teenage days, walking around the mall, because we couldn't afford anything. <laughs> Still can't afford anything. So much of my work life is integrated with my home life. I just really encourage you guys, take some time with your families. It could be simple or just take intentional time to rest and recharge. So with that, let's hit the road. Here we are evaluating a patient for bilateral AFOs. He has a history of lumbar fusion and diabetes with neuropathy. As you can see, he is presenting with drop foot and just general bilateral lower extremity weakness. He also is starting to get some knee hyperextension. He is currently working with occupational and physical therapy and their goals include safe ambulation and transfers and also increasing walking distance. With the help of bilateral dynamic AFOs, he will be able to ambulate safely, be able to pick those toes up, and also reduce the need for that knee hyperextension. And here, as he's turned around, you could really see some of that hip flexor tightness and lumbar lordosis. person. I have all these random boxes around the house and I don't know what to do with, but thankfully they make fun toys for the kiddos along with all the bubble wrap that they come with. So you saw that scan that we did last week. This is what comes back. 3D printed check socket that will be fitting next week. Wrap it. A million times, I probably use half a roll of cellophane. Here is the transtibial check socket. We will be fitting first thing tomorrow morning, so let me go get the parts and pieces that we need, and we'll go ahead and get this set up. We got our check socket, four hole pyramid, our lock, four screws, and four mil, and liner and pin. So let's build a leg, at least part of a leg. Getting the socket part together. She already has a current prosthesis, and the foot's appropriate for her. There's no reason to change it. This blocking pin just screws into the bottom of the liner here and that pin will click and then there's just this push release. You push that in and it releases. There you go. Yep, and you can take a couple more steps. Small step on the left and a longer step on your right. Remember to try and be looking up for me. Look at her. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Last thing we're going to be doing today or this week is we got our transfemoral check socket and our transtibial check socket for our bilateral patient with the adherent scar tissue from the fire. You want to help me, sweetie? Okay. Yeah. Can I see the tool? Thank you. <laughs> Can we get it started? 
Oh, other way, other way. All right, tighten that down for me. Yeah, put that here. Get this in right there. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. This is missing six. We got his two check sockets set up. Tune in for the next week's vlog so you can see how this fitting goes. Besides that, I'll see you next week.